for a berth in the AFC Championship game. Off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Burrow to throw right away. And his first look is incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the intended receiver, and it's second down. But Charles, as we've covered, they've already clinched their spot in the postseason, so now they just want to avoid adding any additional names to this list before the postseason begins. Terrific observation because trying to move up a spot, I don't know if it's worth it if you're trying to play guys who aren't quite right. Get them healthy, get ready for the playoffs, make your move then. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So pass interference, the call, that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. Flushed out right. This is caught. It's Boyd. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Now whistles and a flag. And I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Again, it's Burrow. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. third down and the reception made by Green and he doesn't quite make it taking it with an eyelash dropped at the one well they only needed a small gain on third down they end up getting over 30 yards and perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal he'll get this out to his running back Piran touchdown Bengals Samaje Piran from a yard out. And the Bengals are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. Any more that did his part in the wild card win with three touchdown passes. Now, he's going to get a bigger test here in round two, but his unit is in rhythm, and they're playing as well as they have all year long. I wouldn't be surprised if this defense, though, tried to get after him early with a little extra pressure. If he can handle that, he can have another big game, though. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. 
That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He gets this out to Spiller, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he's got another first down as the tackle's gonna be made at the Bengals 34 yard line. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Sam Hubbard that time coming through defensively with reckless abandon. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Now on second and 13, Herbert. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 36 yards on the play. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Try to punch it in with Eckler. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Austin Eckler taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Bullock good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. The pass to Boyd, and he brings it in on the crossing route. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. These two teams all tied after one. Play action, it's Burrow. Open man downfield is Chase, he's got it. And they're gonna get this down inside the 15. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyler Boyd. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Bengals have taken the lead. McPherson now for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from Tyler Boyd. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. A quick throw there, gonna be batted away and incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. 
Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Brandon, you know how we talk about having wrinkles in a game plan? That was a fold right there. How about that play? Being able to change things up. You think anyone else on the team's going to get the ball? And in that situation, they surprise everyone and give it to their big guy. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Back to throw here, Herbert. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. On the give, this is their fullback. Tackle made that time by B.J. Hill. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. From the 44, Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, some... that's into a crowd and intercepted. Daxton Hill picks it off. The 30. In your face. 10. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. And McPherson on for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25 yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. Fresh off of six the other way, it's Herbert. A quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw on second and 10. Herbert got his man, it's Williams. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Herbert. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Palmer. First down now, but that clock rolling. Herbert throwing again. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Herbert now. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The Chargers gonna signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. 
I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds its way back to him. But atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. First down, here's Burrow, eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Launches deep, a jump ball, and this is caught. A big play there just before halftime, 47 yards. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as it will come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Throwing again on second and 10. Burrow. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Burrow will throw. Out to his left. Got a man, it's Chase, he completes it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. That's caught over the middle by Asiasi. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. And they'll let that play, the completed pass, stand. As a look around the NFL, we'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. Winner go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. I don't know about you, second and inches a lot of the times i'm leery about the offensive guys thinking about taking a shot downtown instead they just hand it to the big man and let him rumble forward for a first down herbert's throw taken in by palmer it'll be a gain of five and it'll be second down here's herbert and it's a short one here complete to the tight end First catch for him in these playoffs. He was held without one last week, but he's got a first down on that effort. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And this throw incomplete. The defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. 
Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Jamar Chase hoping to be at center stage yet again as the offense returns to the field. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And they go play action now. Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. And he'll be out right at the 35. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Burrow on play action. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. He's got a man complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the... And now hold everything here as the challenge flag is out. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now a carry for P. Ryan. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. They go play action with Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Try and throw for it with Burrow. Flush to his right. Touchdown, Bengals! T. Higgins, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bengals continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. From the 30 on second down. Holder, man open left side, it's Williams. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Herbert. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. 
Well, CD, we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just knew that for this team to advance, it had to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they've delivered. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll find Williams on the slant. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Herbert. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked by Logan Wilson. Bengals are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Open man is Chase complete. Burrow to his old LSU teammate Chase for a Bengal first. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now it's Burrow. Over the middle complete. It's Boyd. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A really good pickup of 28 yards. P. Ryan is into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. Selma, man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Buyer, beware. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a thread, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, Justin Herbert looking to pass. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first and 10, Herbert. 
Over the middle, it's complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Herbert back to the air. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Looking to throw again on second down. Herbert. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Out of the gun, Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 28. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 15-yard line. Herbert operating from the red zone. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. To the air again, Herbert. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Joseph Osai in there to make the sack on what will be the final act in this ball game. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super